All right, so now that we've seen how to use the use substitutions, what happens if you don't have the exact du that we need in order to, to do the use sub? So what if it's off by like a factor of two or you need a one half or something? Well, you can adjust things slightly by multiplying by a number or a constant and it's reciprocal. So you can multiply in by any number you want as long as you also multiply by its reciprocal because essentially that would be multiplying by one. So let's look at these and see how this is gonna work. So we can start out by doing what we did before. So in this case, u would be 2x minus 1 du would equal 2 dx. So I have the dx, but I need a 2 with it. So I need to multiply the inside by a 2 and the outside by a half. And now I can do my substitution. So the half is going to stay out, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to stay out there because <clears throat> it's the inside that gets switched around. The stuff on the outside doesn't get affected. So I can now switch this stuff into terms of u. So it would be u squared and the 2dx becomes du. Integrate u squared, so that is one third u to the third plus c, so one sixth times two x minus one to the third plus c. All right, let's go ahead and try uh, this next one, part b. So let's choose u to be the t to the fourth plus five, so my du needs to be four t to the third dt. So I have a t to the third, but I need a four t to the third. So multiply in by the number you want, so the four, and then on the outside, multiply by its reciprocal. And then again, the number outside that you put here, just leave it alone and then just do your u subs for the rest of it. So root u and then the 4t to the third dt is the du. So integrate the root u, so u to the half. And that'll be two thirds u to the three halves plus c. Uh, multiply a fraction and simplify it. So one sixth and t to the fourth plus five to the three halves plus c. Okay, part c. Let u equal the angle, so the 1 over theta, which means that my du, if I do the derivative of this, that'll be negative 1 over theta squared d theta. So I have the 1 over theta squared, but I need it to be a negative, so I can multiply in by a negative as long as I do a negative on the outside. So negative on the outside, cosine of u du, the integral of cosine is sine, and that negative stays out in front, then switch it back. So negative sine of 1 over theta plus c. Again, part d will let u equal negative x because that's the exponent 
So then the du would be negative dx. So this one I need a negative again on the inside and then a negative on the outside. So the integral of e to the u is e to the u and then change it back into terms of x. Okay, so there you go. There's some good u subs with some more complicated uh, functions. Um, so in the next video, we'll take a look at a different type of integral that we haven't seen yet.